everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we're the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That is exactly what we do. Today, we have something so fun. We have so many people Tons. that have asked for this. And so, you know, we decided today was the day. We're going to be making a cemetery arrangement. Yes, a, and a very easy DIY yeah. cemetery arrangement that anybody can do. Yeah, so this is going to be cemetery arrangement done the easy way. Very easy. So welcome everyone. Thank y'all so much for joining us today. Yes, and, and like Amanda said, we have had so many, every single Friday, somebody asks us, would we do this? So we have yeah. decided we are going to do this and uh, so, and like I said, it is going to be very easy, um, which that's what most people want. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And I know several of you have said, well, it's just so expensive month, you know. Yes. You know, time after time having to go and pay for cemetery arrangements. Exactly. And so this is going to be great because it is going to cost you a fraction of the cost. Definitely. And like she said, we're going to show you the, the easy way to do it. That's right. I'm going to turn this glue can... down just a touch. Hey, Verlene, welcome. Hey, Deb. Hey, hey there. Karen. We're so glad you guys are here with us. We're excited to be with you today for Flower Friday. We, we always are. love to hang out with you. You may hear some thunder in the background because we do have a small storm. It sounds like has popped up. So uh, hopefully everything will go perfectly. Hey, Rita. We won't lose service. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Rita. Welcome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna show you what we're gonna be working with today. Yes. And if you know somebody who uh, may like to see this video or learn how to make this arrangement, you know, definitely Share send, mm -hmm. yeah, send them this video. Yes. So I think we're smoking just a I little know, bit. I know, I just cut it down, so a maybe it'll hot. take a minute for it to, uh, for it to get cool enough to quit smoking, but it will in a minute. So first we have our foam. Okay, of course it is going to depend on the size of your vase of your vase that you know you're at using. the cemetery yes so but that's what we've got today this size right here and this came from i mean you could get these at hobby lobby yeah, you, you can, can get, get them, them at walmart but these actually came from hobby lobby but you really can you can find these now you've got a smaller one over mm -hmm. there show them that one these are smaller ones so if you need if you've got a smaller vase you know you can find that size uh we're good we're going with this one now but um and you can find those anywhere, just about. Yeah. And so um, next, we have one large bush. Yes. Any kind of bush. Yes. You can get this, like we Whatever said, colors Hobby Lobby. You want. Uh -huh. This one, we're going to be doing a summer one today. Of course, if you wanted to, you know, whatever season you're in, you're just right. going to need a large bush, yes. multi flower bush. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, any kind of craft store. Yeah. You know what? You can even find them at. Dollar Tree. Yeah, you really now, could. Now, if you're going to use a Dollar Tree ones, they're a little bit smaller, several. so you'll need, you know, a few. But any kind of, of uh, multi-flower bush yes, will yes. work. So just, just like this, one that's got several things on it. Uh, then we also have a baby's breath uh, bush. Now, this again came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, you just want some kind of little filler bush if if your bush that you get doesn't have a lot in it this one doesn't have a whole lot in it so we do have the baby's breath to fill in now there again if you're trying to cut cost just go with the one bush it, it's still going to be beautiful and just so you guys know because i know some will ask us we're using artificial flowers yes yes so this artificial. is an artificial yes it is arrangement it is <laughs> Yes, Cause I know. I didn't mention that, and I know you guys will. Uh, now this is blast. this is something that we are also using, and this came from Hobby Lobby. You can find this. It is a value fern, cheap little fern. It's it's not not beautiful. It's not supposed to be because it's good for outdoor, you know, cemetery things. But just some little value fern will be fine. You just don't spend a lot on it. Um, and then we've got another little fern just to fill in. Again, this is strictly if you want to add something. It, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that. 
Now we also have a few extra flowers that we may or may not use depending on how, you know, we feel like it looks towards the end if it needs a little more. That's just going to be something that you're going to have to judge, you know, how 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 many florals you want in mm -hmm. it. That's up to you. But if you get a nice size mixed flower bush, you should be good. You with probably just the will bush. be good. Now, I you know, if you're going to do one as big as this, I might would go with the one size over this one. Uh just to make sure that you've got enough one to cover. Bigger. One size bigger. Yeah, yeah. one, size, one size larger than this one, just to make sure that you've got enough flowers for it. Yeah. But. So welcome, those of you who are just yes. hopping on, we're so glad you're with us. If you will, just type live in the comments um, and let us know where you're watching us from. If you're watching us on replay, type that in the comments as well. Just type replay and let us know where you are watching this video from. Yes. So one of the great things about this greenery, the value greenery that we talked about, when we green this wreath, you're actually going to be able to keep that greenery on. Yes. So then when you get ready to change your florals out, you're still going to have that base greenery, so it's going to save you money. Exactly. Exactly. Once you get it around, because it's just literally going to go around the bottom, once you get it around there, all you will have to do is take out your bush to swap in a new one. You could even do that at the cemetery if you wanted to. Yeah. So we're going to make this really, really simple for yes, you Yes, we want it to be simple. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're not, we're going to start with our bush first. And what we're going to do is now, uh, you can cut this off if you want to, but we, because of the way that this one is arranged and you do want to look for that, you want some that are in different levels, you don't want something that's just all one level small. You, if you, if you can find that, you want something that's different levels that you can see here. We've got some shorter roses, some taller roses. We've got some really taller, and then some filler flowers that are a little shorter. That's what you're looking for when looking for a bush for this. And we are actually going to put this right down in the middle, just like it is. So we're going to use yeah. some some glasses of course yeah, this is just for us vases, you can use whatever vase whatever. or whatever and yeah. that's that's not for the actual arrangement that's just to sit it in so that yeah. you can work a little bit easier and it doesn't wiggle all over the place now you will need wire cutters and you can just cut the very end off of this if you wanted to depending on how tall you want it i'm going to put it in just like it is though straight down in the middle if i can get it where i want it uh so I'm gonna first do that before I try to glue it. Now, if if it's too hard, then I will cut off the end. But let's cut see. off just a little bit of mine. Yeah. This is really thick, though. I think I'll need the big dogs for it. Yeah, you might. But I think I can. No, I got it. Yeah, I'm getting it in. There you go. All right. You want to get it in to where it's right. It, you know, mine's just maybe a fingertip up from where the flowers start to fan out. And that's how you want it. Let me show, see if you can see it. See, it's just about a fingertip right here. So you want it like that. And then just kind of pull your flowers out. Once you get it in, just kind of separate, pull some out, leave some up at the top. Just, you just wanna pull it out so that they look pretty, just like that. Okay. You do want to make sure that your tallest one is right there in the center. Yes. And like we said, this we're showing you the easy this way to do easy. this. This is the easy, yes, yes. Of course, if you want to get all fancy and cut off all your stems, you definitely could do that, but this is the quick, easy way to do it. Yes. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put our bottom in. Now these, if you get a bush, now you can get these individual, uh, buy like a stack of them. So if you do that, they're likely going to be a little shorter than these, which is the right length. These are a little long. So all you have to do, just pull off the bottom leaves, just like this, and then just cut your stem off a little bit. Leave about an inch down at the bottom. And then we're just going to bring them in right here by just putting them in our greenery, uh, in our foam, just like that. Now I am gonna use a little glue for this. You can use a glue gun or a glue skillet if you've got it. I'm gonna use a little glue so that next time, all I have to do is pull out the center flowers and add, and this will stay, and just add some more. So I want to just bring this in 
just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing. I've already cut this one off. And I'm just going to go all the way around first right here under. Now I'm also going to add a row of this right around in here as well so that I've got that greenery really thick at the bottom. But this bush, this whole bush of greenery that will do, it would actually do several of, of your cemetery arrangements. And it was, I think, $13.99, and you get it half off, you know, if you wait for when they when Hobby Lobby has the sale. Yeah. So it's very inexpensive. And definitely if you, um, if you get your bushes at Walmart, I mean, you can get a nice size, a really sure. nice bush you can. for really inexpensive. You I mean, you can make can. this, like I said very earlier, much can. for a fraction of the cost. And if you keep your greenery in, then, you know, you have your base greenery in there. Exactly. I mean, you're really saving money. You really are. So we are just gonna make sure that we've got these around the bottom up close to the, the stem, the main stem to start with. I have to keep peeking over yeah. so y'all can see me. <laughs> y'all can't see our faces uh, today, but that's okay. That's all right. Y'all you, know what I look she like, does. so that's okay. And so we're just going all the way around. Yep, just like that. that. Greenery. Now I'm going to make one more row, and this row I'm going to come out right around the bottom here. So it's going to be right below that. I know some of y'all were asking the size. Uh, this cone that we're using, well, see if it says. See. I think it's a 12 inch cone. This one is a is a 8 inch. Um, this one's a little bit longer, so I think it's a 12 inch. I threw the paper away. It's probably in the trash over there. <laughs> oh, it's right there. We oh yeah, it. let me see. Here it is. Yeah, this is the 8 inch. Oh, this is the 8 inch? Yeah, this one is the 8 inch. It's the 3.4 inch by 3.4 okay. inch okay. by 8 inches. So it's the 8 inch tall one. Hmm. It says 7.4 inches. Yeah. It looks bigger than that. It me. does, don't it? Uh, maybe it's just thinner. But see, I've just come around to the outside. And I'm just doing the same thing that I did before but just around the outside of it. Yeah, and you can do this in whatever colors you prefer. If you prefer, you know, the neutral lighter shades, you can do that or if you yeah, like seasonal. You if you want, if you don't mind spending, you know, a little extra on your fern, you could use something else. Um, and your flowers too. I mean, whatever yes. colors, you know, you prefer, that's what definitely what you use. Definitely. We're just kind of giving you an example of what you can do and yes. how you can change it because i know some people do like to change from season to season yes so we've just got a couple of layers there yep and remember guys that this is going to go down in your vase in your vase exactly. so you're not going to see all of this no it's you be, won't of course down in your vase so now we've got that and once you get the rest of your uh, filler and all of that in. If you see you need to add more of this, you can certainly do that at that time. But this is good to start, just like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to put those aside. Got all these little extra leaves. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I don't throw them away. I'm going to save them over here, just in case I need them. And I am going to add some of my filler just to kind of fill in some of the spaces. And you can use any kind of neutral type filler or if you wanted to, or you could actually uh, use something, you know, that's in the same colors if you wanted to do that. But this is just to kind of fill in. I know another thing, you could add some of these in the middle as well. Yes, yes. If you wanted to. You certainly can. And we may end up doing that after we get to the rest of the flowers in. 
Although we do have the other fern that we're going to put some in. So we're just going to keep moving this around as we go. And just fill in. And if you decided to get a couple of bushes, if you want it to be really full, um, what I would suggest is cutting up one of the bushes, but cut them really close to the end of the stem because you want, still want them long. So cut, cut up one bush, get two just alike if you wanted to do it that way. Cut up one of them and leave the other one um, hole like this and put the whole one in first just like we did and then use the other one to fill in. And just make sure to keep turning it so that you get them in every spot and I'm even going to come down into the center and put one so that it's close to the center stem, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna turn it around and come into the center. Just like that and that's just gonna help fill it in some just like that and if those of you you know if you're just hopping on and you're watching us live you can go back and watch the replay anytime we'll have this posted on our Facebook page as well as this will be on YouTube yes. um, so anytime you need to reference it you can always go back certainly and watch. And now if you have questions while we're doing this, this is what we're here for. So ask your questions. Your, you know, you could have a, your baby's breath may look a little bit different. That's yes. okay. Um, any kind of little small filler is yes, really what you anything, want. anything would be fine. If you're making a fall or a Christmas, you could put berries, um, you know, fall berries mm -hmm. or winter berries, things like that. Sure. Any kind of little filler, though, is what yep. you want here. Now, before, I've got a couple more pieces, but I'm going to save those. And I'm just going to put some of this fern. Just now this, like I said, this is optional. Um, if you're trying to keep the cost down, I would not bother with this at all. But we are just going to add just a little bit. And you could use, it in the place of this, you could use any uh, a grass, any anything, any kind of greenery would work. That's just going to kind of give it just a nice... Just a little fullness. A little, a little mm -hmm. fullness, a little variation yep. of the color and things like that. Yes. So very easy. Ooh, I don't know if y'all. We have a. Hear the rain. We have a metal roof yeah, on our building. So it's, uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that. It is coming down right now. I like the look of the extra greenery in it. I do too. And it's really. And this is really not difficult at all to make. No, no, it's it's just very simple. And now for those of you who may have not have watched this before, we use a glue skillet, so that's what we're dipping, uh, dipping our stems in. But if you do not have a glue skillet, you can definitely just use a glue gun. Yes. You do really want to use hot glue, though. That'll be the best. Yeah, that's just going to keep it... Uh, 
you know, it, it can get windy and things outside, and that's just going to help keep it from blowing all over the cemetery. Oh, I forgot to take my tag off. I just realized. So make sure you take the tag off. Oh, you know, I don't know if I took mine off. I'm liable to find I just it saw here it on in a minute. There. Yeah. I don't know if I did or not. So you can add as much of this greenery yes. or as little. You certainly can. Rose said, I wish we could get some of that rain in South Texas. Yeah, well, oh, you know, we I haven't bet. had much of yeah. it either here in Alabama. No, we really have not. So I can't complain about it because we sure do need it. My garden needs it really. Oh, I'm telling really you. Really and it's, I, yeah, her garden, I, I don't have a garden this year, which I'm sad about, but that's okay. Uh, I've, I've just been raiding hers. And, uh, but my flowers, I'm, I every single day have to water. And uh, so it's nice when we get a little shower and I don't have to water for a change. That makes me happy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple pieces of my yeah tall I was, that, That's what I'm gonna put in the in the, in the center. I just hadn't got there yet. And then I and then I'll mix in some more of my other. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just putting a few of the pieces of the tall fern right in the center to kind of fill in and yep. just give that nice look. Exactly. Yeah, we've had a pretty hot yes, summer so far, have. so I know that some of y'all are ready for fall, and I'm getting that way too. <laughs> Not me. No. I'm getting that way. Not me. I, I love summer, so I am not there yet. So we're just still cutting pieces of that fern. And again, you'll be able to keep this fern in here when you change it out, because the fern will last. Yes, it will. It'll last a while in your arrangement. So you can just kind of pull out the other around it and just, if some comes out, just stick it back in. Mm -hmm. That's right. Are you putting glue on yours? I am. I don't know yeah, I've been putting glue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is turning out really cute. Yes, it really cute. is. Oh, cute's the right word for it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was gonna say that. Yeah, I don't know if right cute's word, the right hey. the word I'd be looking for, yeah. but it's it's pretty. Yes. We're going to just keep on adding those as much as much as you want. Yep. I love that this one has some ivy on it, so that just gives it that little extra something. It's got some pretty greenery, but if you get to the place that, you know, you want it fuller, let me get mine straight. There we go. Then, uh, you can add your second bush if you bought a bush. Now, I've got some stems I'm going to add, but uh, I just already had these. I would not necessarily go to the expense of getting these. I would just buy an extra bush. I, what did your bush say it cost? Do you? Mm. I think it was fourteen ninety nine before. So it would have been half yeah, off of that. Half off. So for fourteen ninety five, you could get two mm -hmm. of these, and that's what I would do. Now I didn't, so I'm gonna fill in with some stems. But that's definitely what I would do. So I'm just gonna bring these kind of around at the bottom, and now. Like I was saying, you can get these as full as you want them to be. If you don't uh, want to add a lot of flowers, you could add more greenery. Or like Amanda said, you could add some berries. Anything like that would 
be great. And these dahlias, you can find these anywhere. Yes, you um, can. Michael's Hobby Lobby. They're pretty stiff. Yeah. And I like the pink color. For this I one. like the pink color too. A couple comes off. One thing to remind you guys, you do want to make sure you keep your stems really long for this. Yes, yes. The longer for the better. Sure. Definitely. Thundering out there. It is, isn't it? Hey, Susan. Have you checked out the fall florals at Michael's? I have, and they are beautiful. Or actually, the ones I saw were beautiful. They were putting them out the day that I was there, so uh, I didn't get to see everything, but they were pretty. I was excited about them. I would say, I was just thinking, I would say if you if you get your flowers on sale at Hobby Lobby or at Walmart, I think you could make this for around 30, 30-ish. I, I think so, yeah. And if you bought this, it's going to cost you a lot more than that. I mean, yeah. Because it's, it it's really turning would. out to be a pretty big arrangement. Yeah. So, yes. So, and if you had to, you know, pay for that, it's going to cost you for somebody else to make it so and also, it's going to save you a good bit of money and also you have to keep in mind that like we said you can reuse the greenery so yes. next time you won't have to buy mm -mm. that part that's exactly of course if you're right. changing seasons you know you may want to depending on but even then i would still i would still keep this all i would do is i would add some fall flowers in through i mean fall uh leaves in it but i would still keep the yeah. uh the fern, I believe. Mm around where you want them. Yep. You have to step back. So yeah, I always have to back up and look at it and that kind of thing. What I need over here. Yep. Alright, I'm going to put my last two little... I always like to save a couple of my filler, whatever that is, if it's baby's breath or whatever just so that I can put those in if I see that I've got a little hole somewhere or something like that. So that is where they come in very handy. You just wanna make sure that if you put some, like I've got this one sticking out over here, so I wanna make sure that I do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna put that. Well, yours looks pretty, darling. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to this one. I'm just getting a little stay facing like I want it to. There we go. All right. Put this one right in the center. 
right in there. Just like that. There's my other one. Uh, hey, Dottie, if you missed the beginning, you can go back and watch the replay. Uh, we we said that this is just this is just a really um, inexpensive fern. It was cut this way. Yes. Uh, it came like this. It did. You could, you know, you could use another type if you, you wanted to. You definitely could if you didn't, you know, if you're not looking to try to keep it as low cost as you can, certainly you could use any other fern, Boston fern, anything like that would work. This is just a uh, very, va it's a value fern. It's very inexpensive. But it does, and it does come, come like that. Yes, it comes like that if you buy it from Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. Now, it comes in a bush. Now, like I was saying earlier at the beginning, you can actually find this uh, at some places not on a bush, just in a stack. You can buy them in just a stack of, you know, say 25 or 50 or whatever. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to do that, you could do that. But there we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could add uh, a little bow, you know, if you wanted to put one. Um, if I was gonna do that, I would make sure that I used one that was, um, as waterproof as possible, although it, it's going to be fine. But um, especially, I meant to get this, let me make sure that's not going to fall over. I'll, hold on just a second. I was going to show you what <laughs> you can use. Yeah, and I forgot gonna have to, to balance them the way that we're working with them. It could tip over. Yep. Now you can uh, spray it with a UV resistant clear coat. Uh, this is by Krylon. We use this all the time. Just spray over it after you've got it finished. And that's just gonna help. I mean, they're, they're going, the flowers are gonna eventually fade. You know, that's just, I mean, they're going to. But this will help keep them from fading so quickly. So I definitely recommend spraying the whole thing. Take it outside to spray it though. Don't spray it inside and uh, just spray the whole thing with, and it's the matte. You don't want the glossy, just get the matte. Uh, UV resistant clear coat. And uh, that's all you have to do. Okay. And like I said, if you don't want to, you know, buy individual stems, and if I was trying to save money, I would not. I would s simply buy two of the bushes and then just take one, use it whole, Take the other one, cut it up, uh, make sure to cut the stems, uh, you know, keep them, keep the stems really long on that second bush that you cut apart and then just fill in with the, the second bush. And that's all I would do. And uh, that's gonna save you money. But there you yeah. go. All right. And so, you know, you could definitely, I mean, you can go big, as big as you want with yes, these. You yes. can add as many flowers, or you can, you know, add as few as you want. It's totally up to you. Yes, it So the foam is actually is. going to, the, the, the foam is actually going to sit down into the, the vase. The vase. Mm -hmm. So then when you put it in the vase, you will want to arrange it and pull your little pieces around. Yes. So your little pieces of fern, you're just going to pull down and around. Yep. Just like that. And, you know, it's all up to you. You can certainly buy bushes that cost a whole lot, or you can get some from Dollar Tree even. You know, mm -hmm. you, like we said, you're gonna need to buy several if you're gonna use the ones from Dollar Tree. But uh, these from Hobby Lobby, I think we said they were like $14 originally if you get them on the weeks that they have them 50 percent off you can get two for 14 dollars and then i don't remember what the let's see if that that 
price sitting on there. I don't remember what the fern cost, but it was very inexpensive. Yeah, it wasn't a whole lot. And like we said, you can... I think it was the seven ninety nine set, And so you would get it half off. So, and yeah. I believe it that was seven ninety nine, and uh, isn't that what? Don't you think that's what it was? And uh, I'll have to check and see. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to make sure, but I think that's the one that was on that one. And uh, so that's that would be it. But as you can see, it really was not difficult at all. No, if you, if you just use that main big um, arrangement, and if you get one big or what am I trying to say? Bush. Yes, the bush. <laughs> you, you know, yeah. and if you get a really big one, you don't even have to have that second uh, bush. No, you wouldn't flower. just use the one. Yeah, it just depends on what you are, you know, are willing to spend on it. But regardless, it's going to cost you a lot less. You're going to save money making it yourself. Yeah, yeah I Plus, would say, you can, you know, do the colors that you want and that kind of thing. Yeah, and it saves you the trip of having to go order one, pick up one. Yes, exactly. And, and, and you know. Some people just want to make them themselves. They do, and that's the truth. Yeah. The next it's thing special. we will do is a saddle. Well, not now, but <laughs> not now. But we will show you yeah. one of those if you guys want to see how. If how you to would do like to, so, so if you would, let us know, yeah. and we'll do we'll do the the headstone. Well, I saddles. you know, I said earlier this was fun for us to make. Obviously, it's not a, you know. It's not a fun arrangement. It's you not, have to yes. make one of these, but yeah, you know, I mean it. You know, we yeah, we have to sometimes. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's nice we to have be to be able to know yeah. how to, you know, do these things yourself if you choose to, and, and That's maybe right. save some money. That's um, exactly right. But we do always enjoy being with you guys, and I hope yes, that, we do. I hope that you enjoy being with us here on Flower Friday. We're just That's right. so so happy that you guys join us each week. Yep, and our goal honestly is to help you. To learn, you know the the tricks, the anything that we can do to to help you save money on your arrangements to make your home beautiful, and uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you see an ant crawling around, I've had this one ant the whole time. Oh my time. goodness! I'm the not rain I'm not brought kill, it in. I'm not killing him in front of y'all, so. I just won't let him do his you're thing. Gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill him after. She's gonna kill him apparently kill him afterwards. Camera. Yeah, just not gonna do I'll it on camera. Say, oh my gosh, you she killed, killed it. it. You're terrible, horrible yeah. human. Terrible. Anyway, got a little ant crawling anyway, around. So if you see that little ant crawling around, if you've been watching, ignore him, it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I see him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see him now. I didn't see him until she pointed it out. Now I can't stop looking at him. I'm like, what you going to do now, he's little fella? He's been chasing my flowers the whole time. Uh -huh. He's like, I see some flowers. <sighs> at All least right. it's not a fire ant and around well, here. Hopefully it's just yeah. a sugar yeah. ant, I guess. I just see one. Usually there's more than one. Yes, usually. Where there's one, there's I many. know it. That's kind of nerve-wracking thinking about it, but oh well. Um, so, Michelle, you're asking about the glue pot. Yes, it holds a good amount of glue. Yes, it does. Um, you can do a ton of wreaths and arrangements with this. Yeah, and if you are doing a lot of arrangements, a lot of wreaths, and, you know, any kind of crafts or things like that, it's a really good investment. We've it had is. Our, we've been using them for the last, what, 10, 15 years? Oh, yes. Since yes. they came out a yes. long time ago. They actually didn't look like this. They looked... I remember the, I, and trust me, I saw one, uh, the first time that I saw one at a store, I thought, well, I can just use a fr an electric frying pan. I tried that. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. These are, there. the temperature is exactly what you need it to be, and I, I don't know what that temperature is, but it works. So, uh, as soon as we could, when we first started out, we bought a glue skillet. Yeah. It, they're, they're wonderful. They are. Well, we thank y'all so much for watching us yes, today on do. Flower Friday, for hanging out with us. Uh, we always enjoy this every week. And yes, like we, we said, we hope you do too. If yep. you are joining us live on Facebook, please be sure to uh, follow our Facebook page so you get notified when we release new videos. Also, we have where we can text message you before uh, we go live. And I will put in the comments, if y'all just look down in the comments of the video, I'll, I'll put a little description of how you can have us uh, text message you before we go live on our videos. Yeah, we won't be texting you for nothing else except <laughs> just to tell you we're live. That's it, because I know I can't stand to get a whole bunch of texts, so most people can't. So we will just text you when we're live. 
Yeah, and if you're watching us on YouTube, if you will, guys, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notifications and click that little bell. Yes. So you get notified every time we release a video. That's right. Because we have some fun things coming, yes, coming up for Yes, we you guys. do. <laughs> y'all look at the flower. Can you see, see the flower oh over Amanda's God. shoulder? That is made out of foam sheets, and it is so easy, y'all. So Wait, we're going to do... Yeah, you can take it off. We're going to do a, uh, a tutorial on how to make those. They, it, they're fun. They're easy. You can do them any kind of color you want to. And these foam sheets are inexpensive. So yeah, like just this a is lot like of fun. really inexpensive to make. And, I, and the, I just love this. This was easy and I enjoyed it. So again, if you'd like us to uh, show you how to make this, we definitely will. Yep got a lot of fun projects coming yes we do some different things so y'all be watching so we thank y'all so much for joining us this week and we will see you next week bye y'all